Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for August 17th to the 18th of 2023. I actually want to use this deck first. I haven't used this deck in a while, so let's get into it. An Oracle card message for Aries. Next 48 hours for Aries, August 17th to the 18th of 2023 for Aries. Toad, fortune, we love to see it. <laughs> Black hound, foreboding. So expect some money to come in or some good luck, some great fortune to come in um, for things to turn around when it comes to your finances. Fair observant, especially if you've been watching it for a very long time, like you've been watching a, the numbers go up or I heard scale, whatever that means for you. This could be in regards to your actual weight or something like that, but it's going in your favor. There's also someone else watching you. It's telling you to be mindful of that, that someone's watching your money as well. They're watching your good luck, your good fortune. Overall energy is crow sovereignty. Yeah, you're standing in your power and someone can see that. So let's get into the tarot for Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus or have it highly aspected. 48 hours for Aries, August 17th to the 18th of 2023 for Aries. King of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Judgment, Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups. Overall energy is the moon. I should have said that. Um, I was thinking the whole time I was pulling the cards, I was thinking of that song by Bruno Mars, Talking to the Moon. I don't know what that means for you or if you just like that song, but I just feel like what I got from that was like everything you've been praying for or wishing for is coming true with the moon card here. I am recording this on the new moon in Leo, but I feel like everything either in this, um, I feel like from here on out, like from today or whenever you see this until the next full moon, everything you want is going to start to play out. It may trickle out slowly for some of you, but ultimately towards like by the full moon, you're going to see something play out that you really want it, especially when it comes to your finances. Yeah, I feel like if people weren't on you before, they're about to be back on you on whatever this project is with this creative energy because with judgment here, I feel like these... um. I don't know if these are angels, but it looks like they're um, coming towards this tower here. It's like if people weren't on you or on what you were creating before, they're going to be in the next 48. I feel like you're attracting a lot of people towards you, towards your work. Clarify this. Yeah, I just feel like someone was really on you. Like they're really pressed. I'm trying so hard not to say like... <laughs> This person's on your dick right now. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to say that, but they are like someone is. There's someone who's really in your face right now who wants to be back in your life. It could be family, friend, work, or love. Then you got a bunch of other people trying to come back. It's like all these people are trying to climb this tower. I forgot what it's called when you're playing a capture the flag. That's what I was getting. Ooh, I was about to write the wrong color. No. I gotta write it down before I forget. Capture the flag. Yeah, because that's what it feels like when I heard playing keep away. It's like you've been keeping to yourself and your head down just working. And then all of a sudden, this avalanche of people is coming into your life all of a sudden. And that's going to make some water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces want to be back in your life because everybody on you. So now this person wants to be on you. Clarifying the King of Cups, but I also feel like you're just trusting your intuition. I feel like you're bringing something back to life or something being brought back. It's something that you're very passionate about, something that you're very creative with. Clarifying the King of Cups, the tower, there you are. So yeah, you are very much so trusting your intuition. I feel like you're getting some great emotional fulfillment. Like you just feel appreciated of what you're doing and of yourself. But I feel like something you did intuitively is working. Seven of Cups. You got a lot of options. 
coming towards you. A lot of people, I told you, it's going to be a lot. This is going to be like an avalanche of people coming towards you. For some of you, it could be two or three. It's definitely going to be more than one person coming towards you. But for others of you, it's going to be a lot of people. Of course, new people, a lot of new people, but there's going to be some past people. And it's like everybody's trying to climb up there. I'm seeing you as this ace of wands and everybody's trying to climb to the top. Everybody's trying to be around you all of a sudden for some reason. Clarifying judgment is the five of swords. So people could see you as like um, a hard competitor to beat. Someone's trying to like win at all costs. I feel like you have a win at all costs attitude when it comes to bringing something back. And it works for you. But there's someone here who wants to reconcile three of cups. Something that someone did is backfiring, especially if they acted off impulse or emotion, it's backfiring. Like there's this tower of confusion, of manipulation. Like if someone was trying to gaslight or confuse or weave this web, it's broken. But I see you celebrating with this judgment. You're celebrating. But I feel like someone's, someone who you had some choice words with or had some harsh words with, this person wants back in your life. This person wants back in your life. They're facing some type of judgment for some things that they said about you. Clarifying the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're standing your ground. You're not playing. This is giving me... I, I just had the movie in my head. But I don't know if it's um, Resident Evil or some movie where there's just a bunch of zombies running at one person. That's what it feels like. And that one person just sitting there fighting for their life. Or like when you get to the end of Halo, I think it's Halo 3. And it's just like, you're basically just fighting until the end of the game, until you die. And you just keep fighting. And like, it's going to keep being waves of aliens until you just give up. <laughs> two of wands here. I mean, two of swords. Sorry. But with the seven of wands, you're not playing with these people. Two of swords and seven of wands. It's like you're playing keep away. It's like, no, no one's coming with me. You people are not coming. <laughs> or not not saying no one, but none of these people here are. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Five of Cups. And then here comes someone who has past disappointments, who wants an apology, Page of Wands. And they want in on what you're doing. Over on the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're about to come into some inheritance, some wealth, some stability, some great fortune is coming into your life. And this could be good luck at work or landing a, a good paying job, you're, or furthering your finances in some way, shape or form that's making people really wanna be in like on your bandwagon. Like people are pressed. I'm gonna pull from this deck for Aries. August 17th to the 18th of 2023 for Aries. Like people is real pressed and you're just standing in your power with crow sovereignty. And I love this. You could have saw this coming just like they were watching you. You observed their behavior beforehand. So you knew how these people moved. You knew they were going to try to, they're just hop ons, clout chasers, period. Basil reconciliation. This could go for family, friend, work or love. Someone wants to reconcile. Meant clarity. You see the situation very clearly. I feel like this person may have some clarity about you. Blackberry invasive. Yeah, this is someone who was very invasive about their tactics with you. Like they talked a lot of shit and tried to compete with you and try to put you down and it backfired. But I also feel like someone's using these same invasive tactics. They're realizing that these tactics don't work. Like this person tried to trigger you or say some fucked up things or compete with you. It was just a lot of BS with them and it, it backfired. I feel like someone could be acting out because you're not giving them any attention. They're realizing that doesn't work. So now they want to apologize. Overall energy is netto caution. Don't feed into none of this. Don't feed into none of this. All right. But yeah, these moon faces are about to make people act out. Okay. So just be, just ignore it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.